We're gonna take this 2016 Segway MP over the gravel. You'll notice that it can, it can do light off-roading. It has the ability to travel through gravel. Ride's a little bumpy. A lot of haze in the air from the forest fires in the Cascade foothills, Cascade Mountain Range, Washington State, USA. Smoke is unhealthy to breathe. I'm charging my phone and my Segway Mini Pro here at a park and ride building on the F section the third floor on the west facing side. I'm using that little USB-C Anchor Nano 3, which serves up as much power as my phone can take. It's a PD 18 watt charger. A charger here converts the household 120 volts AC into DC to go into the 350 original watt hour battery pack that's now six and a half years old. Look at the size of this cell phone tower here. This is amazing. Here's the base equipment. It's a very unusual industrial looking building here. That's me. I'm riding this Segway Mini Pro. Look here. Some very, very high-end telecom equipment. Very serious. High power. Industrial power equipment. This tower is owned by Vertical Bridge. There's the part numbers and everything. There's even a phone number to call. They don't want you to trespass. That's a very high energy RF system going through there. I'm surprised my phone isn't malfunctioning. You can see that these cables go from the base of the tower to an amplifier through this arrangement here and into these utility boxes where those fiber optic lines are joining. This is some kind of power conditioning equipment. There's the utility meter that it's connected to. This is where energy from the electrical grid enters. There's the air conditioning heat exchanger system. You can see the piping is going into the building or heating and cooling something. There's the expansion valve right there. Square D panel that would energize this is turned off, meaning this AC unit is not in use. Here we see additional power equipment. These are lead acid battery backup. So. This piece of equipment here contains a bunch of lead acid batteries and a charger. You can hear that it's operating. There's the eat and disconnect switch over there. That means that the charging system is working. And that's plumbed in to this wire that goes all the way up to the RF transceiver array up there. That assembly of microwave antennas that spools out cellular signal in 4G, LTE, or 5G NR, depending on how they've upgraded it. All right, well, that was the tour of this facility owned by CenturyLink. Pretty interesting equipment, huh? I have absolutely no idea why this gate is open. Seems unusual. This is a secure access facility, but here we see the lock was opened by legitimate means. I'm out riding my 2016 Segway Mini Pro. That device right there. I wanted to capture this GE Healthcare building in downtown Issaquah here because it's scheduled for demolition. Here's the proposed land action use from November 17th of 2021 to build 385 apartments with a ground floor commercial space. It's uh, interesting to see that so much materials and energy went into the construction of this building. All this glass, metal, and electrical wiring, internet infrastructure, gigantic parking complex. All kinds of fancy equipment uh, 
you see here all this additional parking here and there's just a ton of industrial capacity chimneys ventilation shafts the building must have cost five to eight million when it was constructed you can see the industrial hvac equipment down there it's currently october of 2022 so i found a lamp post like this this is a light post and it happens to have an electrical outlet with a brown fault interrupter. I just reset the red button on top and I'm using that through this power brick to charge my 2016 Segway. This folding six watt solar array and the corresponding 26.8 amp hour battery mounted inside that device. USB-C PD-18 through this long cable into my iPhone. This nine bot, 120 watt, 59.5 volt DC power adapter converts anything from 100 to 240 volts AC at 50 or 60 hertz, two amps max input into an output of 59.5 volts DC at two amps. There's the model number. That's what it looks like. And there's a status LED indicator on here that glows red that while it's charging and it turns green when this is fully charged. Now the Segway displays that it's fully charged, but in reality, it's not completely full yet. It's undergoing what's called cell balancing now. I'm riding the Segway on the Issaquah Preston Trail here in King County, Washington State. It says here that motorized vehicles are prohibited in order to King County Ordinance 6798 closes half an hour after sunset and opens a half an hour before sunrise. This Segway can't even go 15 miles per hour. It doesn't have a motor. It doesn't burn gasoline. It just has lithium batteries like a Tesla Model S, Model 3, Model Y, Nissan Leaf, tablet computer, laptop computer, smartphone, smartwatch, or any other consumer electronics that are portable. This is known as a last mile, first mile device, so I'm taking it on a road trip and stopping to charge where I can. That's what the trail looks like if you're wondering. That's Interstate 90 right there. See the cars going freeway speed? That's the trail. And it runs parallel to I-90. I'm heading east into the forest fire smoke. This road is closed, so that means we have to go up it. This camera is powered by solar panels. That's pretty cool. Look at this photovoltaic array here. Kind of like the portable one I'm carrying. There's a bunch of batteries in the base there. This is from United Rental. Camera's up there. That's pretty nifty. Pretty nice building though. You can really see that forest fire haze in the air over here. Normally those hills would be crisp. I'll show you where I'm at. So if we pan over here like this, we're where these roads from the Issaquah Highlands come down and meet I-90. That's the on-ramp for I-90 westbound. Here you can see the forest fire smoke in the air. Look at that, real hazy. We're near Swedish Hospital up here in the Issaquah Highlands. I don't know if you can see the sign there, but that's the Swedish Medical Center. It's 
the closest hospital. You can see the building continues from the front there all the way back. The ambulance entrance. Best part of this hospital is invisible, so the Swedish. On this sign next to this bench. We can see shipping and receiving is located back here. This is where they bring medical supplies and take away the trash and recycling. A very nicely engineered pathway that I'm riding on here. Never been back here. Fascinating to see what's back here. That's kind of the tenor. It's a Segway vacation. Been Spartan charging several different locations wherever I can. Oh, we're going into a neighborhood to see the houses. Here's the back side of the hospital. Something a lot of people might never see. You can see it pretty easily from this trail here. Beautiful building, relatively new. This is an example of going on an unimproved or partially improved gravel road. No concrete or asphalt here. I made earlier comments saying that rideable toys like this or last mile, first mile in city commuter devices are better on smooth pavement, concrete, asphalt. You know, very smooth engineered surfaces. Here's an improvised surface and it's quite rattly if you watch the watch my pants and the segue, see? This this is a great walking trail, but for a motorized wheel vehicle with small wheels it's quite bumpy. But you can see this 2016 Segway does it just fine. There's so much haze in the air that you can actually see the sunlight making sun rays through the trees. That's particulate matter from the forest fire that I was talking about. Finally, we can see Swedish Hospital here from the north edge. And if you zoom way out, you can see the haze in the air. That's not supposed to look like that. That's pretty hazy. And if we look out this way, we can see it's pretty hazy there too. This is my 2016 Segway Mini Pro made of magnesium alloy. Bought it on Amazon.com for $997.43. This machine is super cool. Lots of good memories. Riding and gliding the Segway. That's my shadow and the shadow of the machine. We ride together. Woo! Oh, I'm almost back for the day. That was uh, five and a half hours of Segway charging and Segway. I'll get the mileage total. You'll see it here on the screen in just a second. This has been an exceptional day. I can't go 20. I think it tops out at 11 or something. I get to 11.3 miles per hour and it starts beeping and leaning back. All right, well, they've been tearing up the roadway over here. So this segment is to show they've completely torn up one segment of the road and they put in an improvised traffic light signaling system on both sides. So it's a one lane road now. And when the light switches, it allows traffic to go one way. And then when it switches again, it allows traffic to go the other way. So here's the improvised light running on a trailer. And this is the road section that they tore up. Now they've re-poured it in concrete. You can see there's asphalt running into concrete, though they're not finished. There's a transition and gravel there. So this is the new concrete deck. Now you can see the machine and equipment they're using, a big digger. Uh, that's a leveling device. That was a backhoe over there, that bigger one. And here you can see where the cars are stopped. This is the other traffic signaling device. That trailer there has a traffic light and these cars have to stop until it's their right of way. And then both sets of cars use that right of way there. Now you can see the cars coming on the wrong side of the road right now like that, and then they dodge these cars by re-entering the correct lane, like this. So this was a way for the city to engineer uh, traffic workaround while they're building the road. 